I'm saying is, it's a good thing we don't do this show outside, <laughs> especially on a day like this as we welcome everybody to this edition of Quick Slants presented by Nissan. I'm Derek Gunn, and I'm joined once again by Barrett Brooks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and what else? Barrett Daughter, come on, man. Brooks. Well, we have a special guest joining us yes. for our first segment. Yes. My guy. Mr. Ray Dittinger himself. How come you never call me Mr.? Because I would never call you Mr. Because let's move on, yeah. Well, okay, all right. And I am very happy to be with you guys for a little Friday night football. Ray, you have no idea what you've just gotten yourself into. <laughs> um, beginning to get the, I'm beginning to get the idea. <laughs> All right, as we get started, we need to remind everybody what's at stake on this, the final weekend of the NFL regular season. The Eagles need to win, plain and simple, Sunday in Washington, and have the Bears beat the Vikings in Minnesota. It's that simple. Both games have been moved to 425 from their original times of 1 p.m. start times. If all goes according to plan, the Eagles will claim the final wild card spot in the NFC. So, gentlemen, the scenario is crystal clear. Um, and the man to lead the way once again is Nick Foles. We know Foles stepped in for Carson Wentz last season and brought this city its first ever Super Bowl. And he has the chance to do it once again. So I ask you both, if Foles somehow, someway, leads his Eagles team to win on Sunday, regardless of what else happens, where does he rank among Eagles quarterbacks in franchise history? Mm. Well, if you were to ask me, I would have to say number three. Yes, number oh. three. I would have to say Donovan McNabb, number five, will always be with us. He will always be the number one quarterback because at this point, statistically, he has all the stats. He's borderline a Hall of Famer, so I will go Mac next, first. Second, I will go with my ex-teammate, Randall Cunningham. You have to put him right there, the ultimate weapon. Everybody wanted to grow up and be a quarterback like him back during my time period. But then, number three, you have to go with the guy to give us our first Super Bowl. You have to go with Nick Foles. Nick Foles brought us the first Super Bowl here in Philadelphia by name the, the Super Bowl. This guy will never have to eat anything at a cost ever again in Philadelphia. He'd go to any restaurant. They give it to him for free. He will always be immortalized as the guy who brought us a Super Bowl to our beloved city. So, yes, that would be my third pick. Okay, well, I... The one guy, I'm the one guy in this panel here that actually has been around long enough that I actually saw Norm Van Brock. I knew, play. I knew he was going to say, yeah. Uh, and he's the only Eagles quarterback that actually played his way into the Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio. Sonny Jurgensen got there, but more for what he did as a Redskin. So the only quarterback that actually played his way in as an Eagle was Van Brocklin, so I would give him number one. 1960, he was the league MVP. He was the championship game MVP, and that was the last world championship that the Eagles won prior to last year. Not enough film on him right now. I can't see so it. So I'm going to go with the Dutchman, but uh, I'm going to take, take Falls number two. Ooh. Uh, and this is um, Ooh. This, and this is nothing against Donovan, and this is nothing against Randall. Uh, but both of those guys played 11 years with the Eagles, and neither one of them accomplished what Nick Foles accomplished last year. And it wasn't just a one, it wasn't just a one spurt to the finish line kind of thing. You look back over Nick's career, he holds seven club records now. He has the highest quarterback efficiency rating in team history, both for a season and a career. He's 19 and six as a starter over the last four seasons. And he did win the Super Bowl and win the MVP. So it's a crazy season. I know it's a crazy sort of career. He's only started, he hadn't started more than 10 games in any year. It's, it's unusual, but still, it's not a question of who played more. It's a question of who accomplished more. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put Nick Foles ahead of the other guys. You say he's a, he's a Philadelphia, just a Philadelphia quarterback when you look at Nick Foles. Yeah, Just sure. Philadelphia, period. Absolutely. I, I'm going to kind of agree with both of you in a way. Because I'm with Ray. I think you have to start with Norm Van Brocklin. Because up until what Nick Foles was able to accomplish, and it wasn't just Nick Foles, it was a cast of characters who helped along the way. But Nick Foles' numbers were incredible uh, during that playoff run and Super Bowl run of last year. But up until that time, it was Norm Van Brocklin. It was all they had, the 1960 championships and winning a game against a Green Bay Packers team that many didn't expect them to beat at that particular time. Now, until I heard Ray speak, I had Donovan number two, and falls number three. But because I'm allowed to make changes at any given moment, <laughs> I put falls at number two and moved Donovan down to number three. Wow. Because what falls did was nothing short of incredible. When have we ever heard of a backup quarterback coming off a bench, getting a hot hand at the most crucial point of a season, when everybody else had given up on this team because they had lost the franchise quarterback, 
They had lost a future Hall of Fame left tackle. They had lost a future Hall of Famer utility player in Darren Sproles. And all of a sudden, it all comes together, and the numbers Foles put up every week leading up to the Super Bowl, they just kept getting better and better. And then what he did in the Super Bowl is nothing short of phenomenal. There's nothing against number five because, as Barrett said, number five, we will always love you for what you were able to do on the football field. Over your career, the number of championships you got this team, uh, two division titles, conference championships, you got them to a Super Bowl, you didn't pull it off. And as Ray said, it's all about what you did, what but not what you might have done. So my list, I flipped the script a little bit. I went Norm number one, Foles number two, and Donovan number three. Wow.